what's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection issue uh in that by daylight so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix these issues and before we start right into the video guys i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right onto my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be a big support for me it's free for you guys and you support my work here on youtube a lot so i'm gonna thank you for that right now and i would just say let's get right started so the first step in order to inc uh, to avoid connection issues or solve your connection issues is going to be to type or click the windows key and the key r and type in cmd once you typed in cmd i want you to click enter and this window will pop up now i want you basically to copy what i'm going to type in so i'm going to type in ip config slash or oh, space slash flush dns and hit enter so once it is successfully flushed, you can close this tab. And the next step is gonna to be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings. Once you're here, I want you to go to Network Internet and go down to the very bottom where it says Network and Sharing Center, left click it. Once you're here, I want you to go to the top left corner of your screen and clicking onto the second link where it says Change Adapter Settings. And now it really depends on uh, which one you're using. So if you're using Ethernet or Internet, it doesn't really matter. So um, it just says like if you're using Wi-Fi, if you're using um, the cable. So it doesn't really matter. You're just gonna click what you wish when you're using. So right click, disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. This will take quite a few moments, so just wait patiently until your Wi-Fi is perfectly connected again. And once it is connected again, you can also close this window and coming back to the uh, first tab where I want you to click, yeah, again, Ethernet or Internet. It is which one you're using per, uh, at the moment. So click on that, click on properties. And once you're here, I want you to click on Internet protocol, double click that and uh, go to enable use the following DNS server addresses. And I want you to click uh, or type in at preferred DNS server address. You can use the Google DNS server address or just type in four times eight right here. And on the alternate DNS server address, you can type in two times four and two times eight. So once you're finished here, you're gonna apply this and close every single tab down. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm gonna thank you for that right now. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.